Welcome to my Halloween uh, plumber's vlog. This shit is coming out of my water reservoir tank. Look at this shit. It's, it's freaking... Look at all the sediment. I can pick it up with my hand. Apparently my uh, water tank, not the hot water tank, has never been flushed. Let me show you what that means. Okay, so this is a Well Extrol uh, Amitrol water tank, model W something 203, I forget. And what happens is you're supposed to flush this thing, I don't know, every year maybe? And this has never been flushed. So your well water comes in from the wall. Water comes into your tank that gets pressurized. That's what gives you the water pressure in your house. Uh, then goes up, and in our case, goes through this sediment filter, which kept getting clogged every two minutes. I've been replacing them every few minutes. You can see how gross it is already in there. And then that uh, goes out to the rest of your house. What's supposed to happen is you're supposed to clean this thing. Hook up a hose to the drain valve there. Turn the water off to the house right here. Uh, let's turn the breaker off for the water pump. That way you're not forcing your well to keep pumping water in there. Drain all that shit out. Close the valve. Leave the water turned off to the house. Turn your breaker back on. And you'll hear this thing fill up with water. Well. To a certain degree, there's an air bladder in there also up at the top. Interestingly enough, a little um, like stem for a tire you can connect there and make sure you've got the right amount of air pressure. Anyway, let that fill up a little bit and shut it all off again. Shut this off. Open this valve back up, and you'll see all this goodness coming out. Let's have a look. It is nasty. So now I know where my iron's coming from, my iron problem. It's a buildup over the years. At least uh, 10 years I've owned the house. I've never done it. Didn't even know about this. And actually, believe it or not, that's looking quite a bit better. <laughs> You can see the slop that came out of there. I'm, um, I'm almost scared that I did this in my drain now. I didn't realize it was going to be pumping out dirt for crying out loud. Not like that. But this is uh, actually at least five shades lighter than what I'd been seeing earlier. So keep doing that until it runs clear and then your tank is flushed. Alright, so one final word on how to do this. Because I have fully adjusted this thing. Up here is the uh, air nozzle or connection to fill the bladder that's inside of this thing. This is the Well X Troll by Amitrol model WX203 running with a switch on here that's set at 3050. You can see that by looking inside the cap. The low pressure is 30, the high is 50. Some people are confused about what these things here do. These nuts, these are the adjustment nuts, number one and number two. They're right here. Some people seem to think the one on the right is the high range and the one on the left is the low range or vice versa and that's not what it is. The one on the right is the range. So essentially it's the upper to lower range. It's the entire range. If that range is not sufficient, then you adjust the screw on the left to get a higher range. Again, the one on the right is range. The one on the left is is above the range, okay? So the one on the right is low and high. The one on the left is even higher than high. So you can tweak that up a little bit. I don't recommend over 60 for home plumbing. They say that that's bad. And the switches are supposedly rated for certain pressures. So I've got this thing all set up. We're sitting at 50 PSI right now, roughly. A little under, because the tank got some water used. That'll drop down to 30, then turn on. And uh, this was, the air bladder was deflated all the way down to, I think, 12 PSI. And the way to inflate that is with either an air compressor or with a uh, bicycle pump. Just a regular old bicycle pump. 
You connect that onto here. Be prepared to pump a lot, depending upon how low your tank is. And uh, you want to, what you want to do is make sure the tank, the pressure is all the way down to zero before you put anything into it. And the way you do that is by either running a faucet and turning off the uh, water by uh, hitting the breaker switch, which is over here, or you may have a shut off switch, and just drain the tank. Get the get the pressure down to zero anyway. That's what you want. No pressure in there. Then you inflate this up to two psi below the low number. So on this one, it's 30 psi. You inflate this to 28. If your switch says 40 psi, you inflate this to 38, and that is per the manufacturer's instructions. I read them myself. Two psi below the low range. All right, very simple to do. Just pump that up, put water back in the tank, and then adjust your settings appropriately. And to be honest, you shouldn't be adjusting them while the thing is running because that's uh, 220 volts right there and uh, that will kill you if you're standing in a pile of water. All right, that's it. Good luck.